Assalamualaikum everybody How's everybody doing? Good? Uh, finish your Salatul Tarawih already? Yes or no? If you all can hear me Please uh, give me a thumbs up so I know that you all can hear me Loud and clear Yes Can you hear me loud and clear? Can you see the pen over here? Boleh? If you can see the pen over here uh, Give me a thumbs up so that I know you can see okay so we'll wait for another two minutes while waiting for the others to come in lah, eh? all right while waiting to for the others to come in uh i would like to say bye la bob muhammad shafi'i very good sir all right uh before i uh, go on and you know uh, start off with this uh cooking all right i would like to ask you whether you all uh have heard of kangkang long before not not kangkang lah, me kangkang Okay, masak apa? Masak apa? Hohimi chef. Okay, uh, okay. Let's see. You ask Muhammad Kayum. Okay, I'm gonna masak uh, ginger prawn kuetiao. Okay, using uh, kuetiao kangkang and also ni goreng kangkang lecak. <laughs> Waalaikumsalam, salam Ramadan, Azrin, darling Azrin. Can see, can hear. Very good, mashallah. Thank you so much. Alright, so. Um, How's your puasa all doing? Good? Okay, good. Very good. Everybody okay? If possible, please uh, like and share this video before we uh, uh, continue with the cooking. Alright? If possible. <laughs> you laugh, huh? Laugh because of why? Kangkang, is it? Yes. Chef, makan apa tadi? Tadi, makan sikit je lah. Makan kurma je. Okay? Favorite brand? No other than Kangkang. Miss... <laughs> What am I cooking for today? Uh, I'm cooking uh, ginger prawn kuetiao and also mi goreng kangkang lecak. Alright, with mi goreng kangkang lecak with uh, what's it called uh, caviar. Yes, alright. So if possible, please like, comment, and share. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a love. Show me some love. And without further ado, if there's any question, please comment later, and then I will answer the comment after the. Uh, life uh, finish okay please tag your 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 friends okay bring your friends inside this life okay tag your friends uh, who love this mi goreng kangkang or this uh, ginger kuetiao kangkang all right this ginger kuetiao kangkang i did uh, sell this at my restaurant before at sedap corner so and this is the first time i share with you the recipe okay so if let's say you want to have the recipe the recipe is in my profile later on after this you can go to my profile and then uh, copy the recipe or what's it called? Save, save the recipe. Okay. Waikum salam Hairul. I like lechak lechak. I also like lechak lechak, babe. All right. Kangkang lechak. Yes. Okay. So me goreng kangkang lechak. Let's go. All right. So first things first, I'm gonna do is the uh, ginger prawn kuetiao. Okay. So ginger prawn kuetiao. All right. I'm gonna bring this here first. I want to show you. All right. We're gonna do the broth first. Okay. So the broth is very important because it is the one that will make the ginger kuetiao very nice. Alright, so, uh, and if possible, alright, if you want to know more about promotion, right, and then you want to win some of the Kangkang goodie bags, go to Kangkang Facebook later on and like the page, alright. So Kangkang, let's go. Jom Kangkang with Chef Bob tonight. Malam Abdal, okay, Ramadan, let's go. So, over here, I have just uh, plain hot water. Alright, and then we have the uh, garlic, okay, with the skin. Garlic with the skin, we just put inside, okay, for the flavor. Because the skin is the one that the flavor is in. Alright, so around three, three cloves of uh, garlic. And then we have some... Oyster sauce. This is the ibu, eh, the base of the uh, broth. Okay, light soya sauce. A dash. If you want to know the full recipe, please go to Kangkang Facebook page or to my Facebook page later on to save the recipe. Okay, and then this one we have Le Perrin Worcestershire sauce or Worcester sauce. Okay, this is the base. That's the basic only. Alright, and then some white pepper. Okay. 
that's it that is it okay if let's say you want to have more flavor in the in the broth right you can put kombu or you can put uh, bonito flakes okay but bonito, bonito flakes is a bit expensive lah so if you want bonito flakes you can put inside all right so while the broth is cooking i'm gonna talk a little bit about this mi kangkang okay kangkang is not kangkang literally but kangkang is a brand of noodles you see here the monkey the cute monkey here is mi kangkang you can get this at all major supermarket or online also panas babe aku bubal kat sini so over here i show you first what's inside the broth there yeah. all right that's it that is inside the broth okay so for those of you just joining in thank you so much for joining in all right i'm going to show you uh, the ginger prawn kuitiao kangkang all right using our kangkang noodles okay so what's best about this kangkang noodle is that right i love it eh, because you don't need to put this inside the fridge okay when you don't need to put this inside the fridge the fridge can uh, free up the space and then this one it can last at the ambient beer temperature for as long as six months so you save on space and then you can just i buy this one in small all this and then i put outside because sometimes also uh, last minute my Umar will love to have his mi kangkang. Alright, once you have the mi kangkang, you will berkangkang all the way. Okay, so um, without further ado, why I like also about this uh, kuih tiaw, eh, it's tak banyak kapo. Bit. Okay, the kuih tiaw and the noodles, eh, the egg noodles, tak banyak kapo. That's the best thing about this and that's why I will, apa ni, Easily uh, have a peace of mind to feed this to my my uh, son Umar because kapu uh, is dangerous uh, it's a dangerous uh, additive so too much of kapu uh, will make things I don't know like, there's a lot of uh, complication with health when there's too much kapu okay so this one what I like uh, if you don't believe me if you don't trust me go and buy mi kangkang tomorrow or tonight for your iftar or for your sahur wallahi babe seriously no kapu at all no smell of kapu at all okay so the broth is ready. Alright, I'm going to transfer this over here. Alright, the broth is ready, ready. Babe. So, once you have the broth ready, you can cook the rest of the... Panas, babe. Kangkang noodle lah. Alright. Okay. Very easy, very simple. What you need to do is, you need to... Walk here, the... Kuitia first, okay. We need to walk here the kuitia first with uh, dark chia sauce, okay. Why we need to walk here the kuitia because we want to have that aroma, that walk aroma. If let's say you have a cast iron pan, it's much more better. With the cast iron pan, the aroma and the melat reaction eh, of the kuitia will, will, will punch, okay. So I'm gonna choose this one, okay. Plus this one, if let's say. You have kids, huh? they have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Uh, soon enough, okay, they will have other Disney characters. So watch for the other Disney characters. Those of you just joining in, please like, comment and share. Okay, don't forget to like, comment and share. Uh, careful your head, Chef. I know, I've been this one huh? too many times already. So I am aware of it. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, if let's say you have kids, right? Uh, soon enough, they, have, they will have more Disney characters eh, for you. For your kids to enjoy, okay? Just see, Mama, hey, me kang kang with Disney character, Mickey Mouse kang kang, like that. All right, so hit the pan real hot. All right. The beauty, okay. The beauty of this ambient, eh, ambient noodles, which is not inside the fridge, is that directly you book up, you can straight away cook. If let's say it's in the fridge, right, you need to take it out and then you need to let it rest for a while, okay, rest for a while, then you can cook. But this one straight away, buka, straight away you can cook. And I need to wash this, I need to wash this, okay. So, take a handful. Alright. And then, get some, this dark soya sauce. Dark soya sauce, right. There's not much flavor, it's just the aroma and the coloring, okay? And then go to town. Okay, so let the duck sauce coat the kuih tiaw, alright? 
Ah, if only uh, right now uh, you can smell this, uh, I tell you, uh, you will want to kiss me. Because the aroma is amazing uh, because of the dark soya sauce and also the kwetiau itself. And you can see, uh, once I cook the kwetiau, uh, it won't break. It's still pliable. That is a good thing about this kangkang. Ni kangkang. You can still have the strand of kwetiau when you eat. Eh? And then you suck. Eh? Shook it. Correct, right? Okay. You hit it eh, when the kwetiau eh, is very, very small, very, very short. Eh? You cannot eat it with a fork. You eat it with a spoon. Like kwetiau mama. Lah. Mama like to ta 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 But we all, eh, I personally like to eat the kwetiau when it's still long and still pliable like that. Okay. okay. The smell and then the aroma and then it won't uh, be coagulated together. Tak komplo, okay? I will show you. Get tak komplo. You see? Still individually strand. It doesn't stick together. Amazing, mate. Seriously, I wouldn't uh, put my face on it or put uh, it on my Facebook if the quality is not good. But this is, you see, the strand. It's separated and it's still pliable. MashaAllah, it's amazing. Okay, so like that. Once the aroma is there, once it's all coated, you can taste. <coughs> mm, my goodness. Mm. Eh, eat like this already. Yeah. No need to do the sauce. This is really nice, babe. Okay, mm, my goodness. Ya Allah. Don't take my word for it. Go and buy, go and cook yourself. Okay, so once this one, you see, it's still individually strand. It does not stick together. Amazing, mate. Truly amazing. Okay, so like that. We put it here. All right, nice, nice. Boom. Okay, next. All right, so we're gonna cook the sauce uh, with the ginger and all. So what you need to do is, you need to stand by all the ingredients first. So those of you just joining in, thank you so much for joining in. I am now doing the uh, ginger kway teow kang kang. Alright, so I just saute the kang kang kway teow <laughs> with uh, dark soy sauce. And right now I'm going to do the sauce together for the ginger prawn kway teow kang kang. So what you need to do is, the broth is already here. Alright, so the ingredients are all here. Alright, so what you need is ginger spring onion cut into this uh, 4 cm sticks we have this uh, chopped garlic and also egg all right so the ingredients must be within reach so that you won't go here go there go here go there and also not to forget prawns all right fresh prawns and also wait, uh, this one a lot of water this one is the kanji. Kanji, you need potato starch, okay? Mixed with water. So the kanji need to be there. So we need to stand by the kanji. Alright. You can see there. Alright. Here. Beautiful. Okay, so if you want to cook this, eh? That's why I cook the broth first for a last minute. So that you can uh, cook this separately or you will not need to stand by uh, cook together with the kanji because once you cook with the kanji eh, with the uh, potato starch eh, it will coagulate when it's it's uh, cold eh, the sauce wouldn't be so, so nice alright so straight away boom heat up your pan put oil generous amount not to worry alright so once again, eh, just now I use the kwetiau kangkang. Mana aku yang packet ni tadi? Extra packet. Is it in front here? Mana ni? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this is the kwetiau kangkang. Alright, truly amazing. If, let's say, you all have heard of kangkang, please give me a thumbs up. If you never heard of kangkang, please give me the emoji. Okay, if you never heard, please give me the emoji. Come on. Alright. Cool. So if let's say you have any question, please comment below and tag your friends that would love this kind of food. Tag them. Bring them in into this live uh, stream so that later they will try it also. Alright.
Okay, so hot pan, oil, prawn. Okay. Okay. Cool, right? This is only for you, Emma. Okay. <laughs> the oil oil splatter. Okay, so prawn. This, then you put in the ginger. Alright, not too much. Okay, so the ginger, you just need the flavor of the ginger, okay? And why I also uh, slice the ginger big, big, so that when you want to eat, uh, you can see the ginger there, you can just take it out and put it inside, okay? You can see, you know, still can see, uh, my head still shiny, uh. okay, power. Alright, so. Okay, and then next is garlic. Why garlic is last? Because garlic will burn faster. Ah, huh? the fastest to burn is garlic. It will take only a few seconds to burn the garlic. So now garlic. All right, you can see that. And then take your broth, put it inside. Okay, and then let it cook for a while. Don't forget, you need to taste. Okay, before you serve to your guests, you need to taste. Oh, panas bodo! Bismillah. A little bit more. Okay, not to worry lah. One time you need to indulge, okay. And if you want to be a healthier choice, just choose the one on this one. No healthier choice. Hmm. Okay. So this one we have. Ready, guys. So sorry. Okay. It happened before. It happened again. The phone shut down because it's overheating. <laughs> Sorry guys, can you hear me? Alright, can you hear me or not? I will put the this one uh, lens first. Uh. Alright, can you hear me? Oh wow, uh, but it happened before. It happened again because it was too hot. Alright, so welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Panas bodo. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Let me compose myself first. Yeah. Alright. Is this better? Is this better? Yes. Better, ah. Huh? Clearer, ah. Huh? So it's not iPhone. It's just not Google phone. Bodo, ah. Huh? Okay. Uh, anybody, anybody from uh, iPhone want to sponsor me? Sponsor, ah. Huh? Come, okay. So, thank you so much for coming in uh, again. Uh, the second part, sorry, ah. Huh? So, please like, comment, and share. Allah Akbar. Like, comment, and share. Alright, and I'm going to show, show you the rest of the noodle, lah. Huh? So, you can see here, can ah? Huh? Boleh, ah? Huh? Okay, so this one is the broth. Allah! Jatuh pula, apa cerita ni? <laughs> Kecoh Bob Bob lu kecoh Bob Aduh Okay Lu fall down ah, Lu fall down Ini macam aku bagi So Kang Kang noodles That's it Kang Kang noodles And right now we have the broth over here Don't jatuh ah, You jatuh aku rimbat tau Okay So We have the broth here Cukup because you, it has evaporated after the shutting down of the first phone. Luckily, I got a backup phone. Okay, so this one you see, the broth is here, right? If let's say you don't know, you can watch the previous uh, video later on after we have finished the broadcast. Lah, okay, so this one is the broth 
and then once it's bubbling right it is uh how to say bubbling lah panas wait okay once it's bubbling you put in the spring onion all right inside you nampak lah i need you to all see the okay all right spring onion like that okay so now you need to put the heat there to medium so that it won't overheat all right it's almost done and then stand by your potato starch okay stand by your potato starch here all right okay if let's say you can see the, the inside of the pan eh please give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up right now and tag your friends so that they come in to see the live okay and see it all right good good okay so when you want to put the kanji right okay this is this is a uh, very important eh right hand if you are right handed constantly keep on stirring and the kanji you put in the middle okay why you need to okay and then put bit by bit why you need to constantly stir so that it won't curdle okay bit by bit and then you can see the sauce instantaneously eh, thicken up and why I use potato starch potato starch is much more shinier than cornstarch if you, see, you put cornstarch eh, it will be cloudy now it's very very shiny bit. beautiful so now the final part is okay so the heat is now to very quite low low to medium take an egg break it in the middle all right and then this is the te te technique eh take the ladle break the yolk swirl one time that's it okay let the hot sauce eh cook the uh so this is the magic I want to show you. All right. Can you see this? Okay, let's put here. Okay, you can see, yeah. And then you pour the sauce over the cooked kwetiau just now. My goodness. How's that? Is this nice? Semalam kita baru baru masak kuih tiaw kicap buka buka mi kangkang memang best first choice very good okay so if this is this looks good please give me a thumbs up and please tag your friends share this video alright because I'm gonna eat this mukbang style okay ah uh, don't go away because after this we have mi goreng kangkang okay. Right, like I said, eh, the noodles, eh, it doesn't coagulate together. Let me adjust this. Yeah, okay. Can you see, eh? The noodles doesn't coagulate together. That's why it is. Tak nampak. So nampak, eh? Okay, good. So that when you eat, eh, the strand is there. So you can see. You can still have the strength. That is the beauty of Kang Kang. No. <laughs> that is the beauty of me Kang Kang. Oh, stuff from all of you. That's beauty of Kang Kang. <laughs> sounds, sounds wrong. But sounds so right. Okay, so. See? I'm sorry. Luckily, I'm not going to eat it. But my goodness. Mm. Oh my god. Whoever stay near Pasiris, come and join me. This is the Kwetiau Prawn Kangkang Ginger Kangkang Prawn Kwetiau. Okay, there is a, a comment eh, uh, just now I get. 
uh, Chef Bob, my whole family is allergic to prawn. Can I use beef? Please go ahead. Okay. So the beef, eh, before you goreng macam tadi, eh, the beef you need to marinate with uh, Worcester sauce, oyster sauce, and also potato starch and a bit of water. So, and mix it up before you saute it. So that um, when you saute it with the with the, the sauce, right? The sauce will hug the, the the beef itself. Okay. But beef you use the sukiyaki beef or the uh, shabu shabu beef. Amazing beef. Okay. So this is good. Yes. If this is good, please give me a thumbs up. Please show me some love by sharing this video. And are you ready for the next one, which is the mi goreng kangkang? I'm using the whole grain, whole grain beef. Eh, ni mi tayo ba? Ah, whole grain Hokkien noodle. Amazing beef. Let's go. Shall we go? Let's kangkang with Chef Bob. Jom kangkang with Chef Bob. So before that, I need to wash this. Yeah. I love to do that. If you love to do that, eh, uh, show me some love. Snap, eh? hmm? Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Okay, your life with me, with Chef Bob, and also Kang Kang Noodles. Alright, luckily, this one is a non stick pan so that it will wash easily. Next is. Boom. Okay, this one I will take picture. I will post later on. Okay. Next, stand by. Mi goreng kangkang lecha with akyong. Ah, yeah, guys, tag your friends inside here. I want the numbers to go to three hundred. Please show me some love. Tag your friends and bring this the number up to three hundred so that I will show you how to walk here. This ah. Uh, Mi kangkang, okay? Aduh, stop! Hah? Hah? Okay, so... Ah, uh, lap chong. I'm gonna take the whole grain Hokkien noodle. Kepala aku bocor, bambang. Okay. Okay, just so you, just so you just joining in. Thank you so much joining in. Ah, uh, the beauty of mi kangkang is that this one no need to go inside the fridge. Okay, this one <laughs> is ambient. You just put outside so that you can free up the space for the fridge. And then you can just stack this up inside your pantry. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to use this whole grain Hokkien noodle for my mi goreng. Beautiful. Not enough lah. Not so much lah. Because who wants to eat? I eat or oh, everybody sleeping already. Alright. And then I have my chili. Okay. So this chili, right? I use the kangkang punya chili bow. Okay, so kangkang with chili bow is so smooth and without not much uh, cuka apa? Cuka apa? What's cuka? Uh, vinegar, okay? Not much vinegar and not much not much preservative. So that's why eh, the color is robust, you see? So this one, I what I do is I uh, blend some onions, garlic together with belacan and then the chili bow of mi kangkang chili bow, I cook together and becomes like this. Okay, I have this one tub. Okay. I have stand by this one tub because I have this Hokkien noodle. Uh, this one is the, the one, one kilo or two kilo? Eh? It's not one kilo. One kilo. Huh? Okay, the one kilo one. And also this one. Okay, quick tell. So I stand by to give my neighbor. If let's say last minute I want to give my neighbor. Lah. Alright, this one cook ready, put inside the fridge. Settle already. This one is the chili bow kangkang web. Beautiful. Alright. Guys, get the number to 300 please. Come on, get the number to 300. I'll be very, very happy. Thank you so much for joining in. Right now, I'm going to cook mi goreng kangkang with the Hokkien noodle. Alright. So, it's the whole grain Hokkien noodle. Uh, it's more, more healthier because it's whole grain. We have more fiber. So, after you eat this, after that, you... Okay. Lap chong. Let's go. Okay. Like I said, when you want to cook, when you're goreng, you need your ingredients within reach. Okay, so within reach. So I have all my ingredients over here. And, shall we go? Are you ready to go? Please, let this reach to 300, then we go. Let's go. Come on. 
Alright Never mind lah No need the 300 All 295 of you This is for you uh, Don't forget to like, comment and share Because Soon enough Next one I'm going to do a Kang Kang goodie bag giveaway Alright So once the Kang Kang goodie bag giveaway eh, Is during Ramadan And also during uh, Hari Raya also We will do a giveaway lah Okay Kang Kang if you are in eh, Please comment If the giveaway is uh, Going to happen If you are in lah Let me know Okay 300 ready Thank you so much guys For the 300 of you Thank you so much For joining in Now I'm going to do Mi goreng kangkang Lecak With my Hokkien noodle I will put the This one Foreground lah Okay And I'm using the uh, Hokkien noodle Okay Whole green Hokkien noodle Okay Ready Oil How much? Not too much. I forget because we have lap chong. Lap chong is very oily, so we don't need to have a lot of oil. Throw it. So hot pan. We put in the lap chong first. Okay. We extract out all the oils inside the lap chong. Okay. Extract the oil from the lap chong itself. And again, eh, why I love to use kangkang noodles, eh, because. Not only it doesn't have much kapu eh, but it glides ah. When you eat eh, that's why I eat the kuih teow eh, it just glides inside you. So that way, okay? Not to angkat kangkang or what eh, it's not, it's not because of that, okay? This is the truth, honest truth. I am a skeptic eh, until proven otherwise. So, before I use kangkang eh, I use the old, old, old brand ah. But after I use kangkang, I, the difference is there. If you don't believe me, don't take my word for it, please try yourself with eh. Alright, don't take one word for it. Try yourself. Okay. So now right now I have the lap chong. Okay, so the lap chong have released the oil. Then I'm gonna put in onions. Okay. So the onion. Yeah. That's it. Alright. Mmm. Okay, you need to control your fire. Huh? You see, my lap chong burn already. Okay, because talking, 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 I huh? never see. Huh? It's okay. Some only burn. The thin ones burn. Okay, go up. And go up. Okay, so, boom. So, we let the, let the onion caramelize. Thank you so much for joining in, all 350 of you. Hope you are, have your, done your trawe. And right now, watching this on your bed, okay, me doing the mi goreng. Hmm, look. Alright, so, once it's caramelized, hmm, so good. We put in the chopped garlic. As you know, chopped garlic is burns easily, lah. Alright, that's why we put in later stage, okay? So now, Right, and then we put the egg. Panas bodo. Boom. Okay, then cook the egg. Scramble the egg, and it's very important. If let's say you goreng this noodle lah, or goreng any noodle. You use a non-stick cast iron pan or a non-stick pan lah. So that it won't chow ta. Okay? Alright, so boom. Mmm, nice. Alright. Okay. And then we put in the kangkang hokkien noodle. Okay? This is the kangkang whole grain hokkien noodle. So this is the bonus mi goreng kangkang ah for you all ah guys. Okay. Right. So what we do is we need to separate the noodles and then also to have the wok ke the melat reaction to the hokkien noodle. As you can see also, directly from the packet, straight away to the pan. 
Alright It's not that I put this inside the fridge Okay When you take out And then let it cool So that we can separate the strand No Mi kangkang Is directly from outside To your pan That's it Amazing And Not much kapo smell If Like I said Don't take my word for it Go and buy And makan for yourself Okay Don't believe me Try yourself Right, so this one we have kicap. Okay, we have kicap manis. Yeah. And then just now I have some bakso ah with the soup put inside. Okay. So this bakso uh, will also uh, uh, deglaze the pan, alright? Deglazing the pan because all the flavors is on the pan itself, alright? That's why I also want to make it lecha, alright? And then the sambal, kangkang sambal. Smooth, babe. Alright. Mm. Okay, later this one surely I'm gonna. Oh, 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 because. The chili bow really strong babe. Come come the chili bow. Alright. Okay, it's almost ready now. What you need to do is you put in the tomatoes. And it's up to you whatever vegetable you want to put in. Okay, for me I want to put tomato and also spring onion because I have extra spring onion just now for the kway tiao. And okay, also, I will use it for this. Uh. If let's say you do have any spring onion, you can put in sawi, which is uh, chai sim. Or, you can put in uh, kuchai. Kuchai is good for mee goreng. When you put kuchai, uh, the nutty flavor. Uh, oh, shock it. Alright. And lastly, will be the spring onion. And I want it to be more later. I put in more of the broth. Okay, let's say you don't have any bakso broth, eh, you can put any chicken broth or what, uh, vegetable broth or the ikan bilis broth. It's up to you, okay? okay. And we are done. Alright. I'm going to show you the plating. <laughs> Okay, let's bring it nearer. Down like this. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Present this. Like that. Whew. Does this look delicious guys? If it look delicious, so give me a thumbs up and give me my love. Bring your uh bring your friends inside because we're gonna eat this later on. Kenapa aku buat macam Italian, babe? This is not pasta. Might be looking like pasta, but it's not pasta. This is better than pasta. This is a whole grain Hokkien mi goreng basah risak risak. Okay. And then I'm gonna put in the low on top like that. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Finish yet. Okay. We have some beluga caviar. Put it on top. On the yolk and inside the mouth of it. Mm hmm. Sedap. And then we put some garnish around it. There you go, guys. Mi goreng kangkang lecha with caviar and egg. Who says mi goreng cannot be fancy? Amazing, right? 
if this is amazing give me a thumbs up give me some love and also if this looks amazing please go follow kang kang punya facebook page with because this uh, hari raya no ramadan hari raya and uh, six months uh, down the road i'm gonna work hand in hand with kang kang noodles so that i can bring you the best noodles in town babe. all right take a picture screen grab this and put it on your uh, instagram story with the hashtag Jom Kang Kang with Chef Bob or any of you who cook with Kang Kang noodles post it on your Facebook page or Instagram page and put the hashtag Jom Kang Kang with Chef Bob I will see the hashtag and I will see if let's say it's nice I tell you what I will uh, work with Kang Kang to give you the goodie bag okay I will see who have the interesting dish with the Kang Kang noodles I will give the goodie bag to you okay each week okay this is my promise to you Thank you so much for staying. Uh, thank you so much for Kang Kang for doing this with me. I'll see you soon, inshallah. Take care. No, 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 no. Don't take care first. Can I eat this? No, I cannot eat this. I want to take picture, then I eat this. Okay? I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Follow Kang Kang Luda Facebook page and Instagram page. Take care. Assalamualaikum. Salam Ramadan. Peace out. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.